First of all, guys, Chucky is back. Amazing job. I know we spoke earlier about this, but phenomenal job on the show. Uh, just for just to just to reintroduce yourselves a little bit, can you tell me a little bit about your characters? Uh, we'll start with you, Zach. Um, yeah, so um, I play Jake on the show. Um, Jake is kind of a um, he's um, he's misunderstood just because of you know he's kind of he's more creative, but he's also kind of a loner. And um, his father does not accept him because, you know, he's different and, you know, he's coming into his sexuality. And, yeah, everybody bullies him because of that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really all the shape. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Now, tell, t- tell me a little bit about Junior Weber, for, if you will. Junior um, is sort of like Jake but, you know, very different family and circumstance, but at the same time, um, not actually that different because their fathers, though, um, they have, are, are in very dif- different circumstances. Um, very similar characters. Um, Logan and Lucas are both very, they both have a lot of, you know, I'm gonna restart my request for my answer. I'm um, sorry, I didn't like anything I just said. Junior is actually not too different from Jake because they both have pretty um, rough home lives, though, you know, Junior's family, Junior's side of the family is much more well off. You know, Junior has pressure from his dad to be a good runner and, you know, he has the pressure of being the popular kid at school and his girlfriend Lexi, the other most popular kid at school, is um pretty pretty awful to him and also everyone around her. So yeah, he definitely is a bit troubled and then he takes it out on Jake and bullies him for being different and you know. Yeah. Yeah, well, one thing I love about this show is, I mean, obviously love Chucky because he's such an iconic horror icon, but is actually both of your characters because I feel like with both of your characters, there's more underneath the surface of what we see. Um, when you guys first read the script, can you talk to me about some of the themes that immediately jumped out at you? We'll start with you, uh, Teo. Um, I, right off the bat, I just loved how funny the show was. I remember when I was sent the first script, I was reading it with my mom and we were just laughing the whole way through. Um, It was so funny, but also, um, especially as the show progresses, it gets really creepy and also really, like the characters are so different from most other horror movies because you know, especially with with Chucky, it's very different than it was before. Because with Chucky before, in just the movie format, most of the time was spent killing. Right. But now we have eight hours to not only have a lot of fun with death and, and gore, but also we get to develop our characters and the relationships between our characters and the stories. And um, yeah, that those things initially were what drew me to the show and very, very excited that I was able to be a part of it. Now, Zach, actually for you, I mean, I want to touch on what uh, Taylor was talking about a little bit, the humor of the show and the tone of the show. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit about the collaboration process with Don Mancini? Because he's been there since the beginning and we've seen this franchise kind of evolve over time with the audience. So can you just talk a little bit about the collaboration process with Don? Yeah. Um... Don's such a great director, and um, he was always very open to our ideas, and that really helped um, you know us as actors kind of develop our characters and basically you know understand and be able to portray them better. And um, yeah. <laughs> Well, like, speaking of your characters, I wanted to ask you, I mean, you, you lead me right into this next question is, what did you want to bring to the roles of Junior, Junior and, uh, oh, what am I, Junior and Jake that wasn't necessarily on the page? Well, um, you know, what wasn't necessarily on the page was um, the incredible tension the two characters have. Um, you know, because as, you know, Teo said, you know, there isn't really, you know, we're not really that different in terms of our situations. Right. Um, but we do, um, we do not, you know, confide in each other because of that. 
we kind of, you know, I guess hate each other for that um, in the show, of course. <laughs> but um, yeah. How about you, Taylor? Because one, one thing that's really interesting to me about your character is how Devin kind of defends your character, even though we've seen kind of a, a meaner side, at least in the pilot episode of, of, uh, of your character, Junior, a little bit. So what did you want to bring to, to Junior that wasn't necessarily on the page? Um, I don't think there was much missing from the page because it was so beautifully written, but yeah. something that I felt I could bring out a little bit more was his, you know, less, you know, me inside and show that deep down Junior knows that everything he's doing and everything like Lexi's doing, all this bullying is, is wrong. And he doesn't really want to, but it's just because of his circumstances, he feels like he kind of has to. Um, so I, what I wanted to accent more was just the good side of Junior and the human side. And so people, though he, in the first few episodes especially, doesn't come up as the, the greatest person, they'll still feel for the character. Sure, absolutely. And I, and I hope I, I did a good job, especially in the later episodes. I mean, it's interesting but, um, because we, we almost see that initially in the first episode, like we see touches of that. So I'm really excited yeah. to see how that kind of plays out. Now look, Chucky is a horror icon and it, the character has mm -hmm. been reinvented and uh, there, there's a lot with the character that, that the audience has seen. But what does the series add to Chucky's legacy? And do you think, uh, what, what's gonna excite longtime uh, Child's Play and Chucky fans to get invested into the series? And Zach, that one's for you. Um, yeah, so this series, um, we actually get to see um, the origin story of Chucky, his first kill, how he became, you know, um, the murderer that he is. And um, one thing that I think people, you know, old, you know, longtime fans, not old, why did I say that? <laughs> longtime fans of Chucky. Um, uh, I think they're going to be very excited that, you know, everybody's coming back. You know, Christina Lee yes. and, and Andy Barkley, you know, everybody's coming back. So I'm hyped yeah. about that. Hyped about that. I do got to ask you guys, because look, when I was watching this, I was blown away. And I know we talked about this a little bit earlier, but you guys were saying uh, that Chucky was actually done practically. And honestly, like, mm -hmm. as I was watching with my girlfriend, we were trying to figure out, is this digital? Is this practical? Because it looks phenomenal. So can you talk to me about how Don wanted to implement the practical effects to really give it the Chucky vibe and aesthetic, if you will? And Taylor, we'll, we'll go to you with that one. Uh, yeah, he was very adamant about using as little CGI as possible. He wanted everything to feel real because oftentimes when it's CGI it can look good and it can be executed well but you know it's CGI you know it's CGI and um it just doesn't feel the same sure. and especially he also uh, was very adamant about being all practical for his actors which is something I love about Don he was he was very caring and understanding for his actors and he knows how hard it is to act with something that isn't there right um, so the fact that it was all practical really helped everyone be in the scene and feel like they were acting with Chucky, not with an object that right. isn't actually there. Like, I know for sure when I was doing scenes with him, I wasn't thinking, oh, this is a, this is a doll. It's being, you know, controlled by a bunch of puppeteers. I felt like it was a killer doll that I was doing a scene with. And it was it was an amazing experience. And yeah, I'm definitely very, very happy that they decided to go with practical. Incredible. And the last question I have for you is, one of the themes in the pilot episode that we get to see is bullying. And to tell you the truth, it almost seems that as Chucky is the ultimate bully. I mean, he's charming, he's seductive, you know, he gets everybody to laugh. So can you talk to me about the theme of bullying that we see kind of like uh, displayed in the series a little bit, Zach? Um, yeah, of course. So um, one thing I'd like to mention is that um, this series um, really shows the problems that um, you know happen every day as far as bullying and you know people not accepting people who you know are coming into their sexuality. And you know I hope people you know empathize with that. But um, to bring it back to your question, um, I forgot. <laughs> um, can you tell me 
Oh, sorry. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. Is that Chucky is kind of like the ultimate bully? I know that bullying is a theme here, but he's he's charming, he's charismatic, and and you know he's funny. Um, so can you talk to just a little bit about the theme of bullying here? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I don't think that this show does really well is that we get to see why the bullies are bullies. And, you know, of course, with um, Chucky, you know, there's really no explanation. He's just kind of, he's just kind of a bad guy, right. you know. But, um, you know, especially with um, the character Junior and the character Lexi, we get to see why um, the characters are the way they are. And, um, and of course, you get to see the wonderful backstory of Chucky and how he became a murderer. It's amazing. Well, look, guys, you guys killed it. I can't wait. Well, literally, not literally, but you know what I mean. But this uh, this show's amazing. I can't wait for everybody else to see it. We're, we're Everybody's going to see it in just like a week or two. But amazing job, guys. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Thanks.